In this video, we'll introduce you to one of the most versatile and widely used electronic devices in the field of analog circuitry, the operational amplifier, often referred to as an op amp. So, before we dive into the details, let's understand what an operational amplifier is. At its core, an op amp is an integrated circuit that amplifies small differential voltages between its input terminals, producing a much larger output voltage. This amplification is achieved through a, the clever use of transistors and other electronic components packed onto a single chip, an IC for uh, clarification. So as you can see that we have right here, this is the sample of the operational amplifier. We have right here the uh, three main pins. We are going to talk about them later. And as you can see that this operational amplifier is an integrated circuit, an IC. So the sample for an op amp consists of two input terminals. So as you can see right here, we have these are the two input terminals. Denoted as the inverting terminal right here, the one with the negative sign and the non-inverting input, the one with the plus sign. These are the two inputs of the operational amplifier. And then we have the output terminal. Right here is the output terminal that the voltage comes out from. Additionally, op amps have power supply pins, usually denoted as V plus and V minus. As you can see that right here is the V supply or voltage supply plus and the voltage supply minus. These are the pins where this IC, this operational amplifier takes its operating voltage. So as you can see right here, we have the IC. Right here is the integrated circuit in which there is the operational amplifier or the op amp. Right here, the pin number two and the pin number three are the two inputs of the operational amplifier. The first one is the inverting and the second one is the non-inverting. Right here, the pin number six is the output terminal. Then we have the pin number seven and the pin number four are the power supply for the operational amplifier. Right here, we uh, connect the plus or the V plus to the uh, operational amplifier. And right here, we connect the ground. Then we have these three pins. The offset, we are going to talk about the offset null pins. We are going to talk about them later. But right here, there is uh, the pin number eight. This, is, this pin is not connected to anything. It's just for the symmetry of the IC. When an input voltage is applied to the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal, the op amp compares these voltages and amplifies the difference between them. The amplified output voltage is then fed back to the input in a closed loop configuration, which allows for a wide range of ampli uh, applications such as amplification, filtering, signal conditioning, and more. We are going to talk about every one of them later. So as you can see right here, we have the operational amplifier, and this is the connection for the operational amplifier. Right here, we have the two input terminals. Right here, we have the inverting terminal, and this is the non-inverting terminal. We have right here is an input signal. This is an alternating signal. So we need to amplify this signal. So the connection of the operational amplifier, we are going to talk about in details later. But first, as you can see that we have right here is this resistance and another resistance that called a feedback resistor we are going to talk about later. But as you can see that the input signals goes to the inputs of the operational amplifier and the op operational amplifier take, takes the difference between these two inputs and then amplify the difference between them. So as you can see that the signal is going to be comes out inverted. So as you can see that the signal started from the zero point and rising right here started from the zero point and then decreased. So now let's dive into a practical demonstration of how an op amp works. In this setup, we have an op-amp connected as a voltage amplifier. 
taking small input voltage and providing a much larger amplified output voltage. So as you can see right here, we have the uh, two power supplies. Okay, we have 12 volts each. And right here, we have the operational amplifier. We know that the pin number six is the pin uh, that is uh, the output. And we have the pin number seven is the power supply and also the pin number four. So the pin number four and the pin number seven are the power supply. One is connected to the 12 volts positive and the other, the pin number five, uh, four is connected to the ground. So these are the power supplies that are connected to the operational amplifier. Then we have the pin number six and this pin is connected to the output. Okay. And then we have the pin number two and three are the uh, are the input pins. These input pins are taking the signal from this oscilloscope. So the oscilloscope gives the signal to these pins, but before it's going to the uh, operational amplifier, it is connected to a resistor in series with it. So right here we have the positive terminal of the signal is connected to a resistor in series and then going to the pin number three of the operational amplifier one of the two inputs of the operational amplifier. The other one is connected to the uh, feedback resistor and the feedback resistor is connected to the output, okay? And also con the other pin is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply. So then we have right here is the output terminal, okay? So the output terminal right here is the terminal which the uh, signal is amplified. To see this the circuit before we the circuit that we are connected right here is the circuit that we have connected. We have a resistor that is connected to the negative terminal and the positive terminal goes to the signal. And then we have a feedback resistor that is connected between the negative terminal and the output. This is the circuit that is connected to uh, in this uh, practical or in this uh, breadboard. So now that we have understood the basics of an operational amplifier and its apl uh, amplification capabilities, let's explore some common applications. An op amp can be used as an inverting amplifier and a non-inverting amplifier, also a comparator, an integrator, a differentiator, and much more. So the applications of the operational amplifier are widely in all of the things that we need to use in our uh, electronics course. So as you can see that we have right here, these some of the most famous applications of the operational amplifier. The first one is the inverting amplifier that inverts the signal and amplify, and amplify it. Non-inverting amplifier, this amplifier amplifies the signal without inverting it. And we have the comparator that compares two signals together and then amplify the uh, result. Then we have the integrator amplifier that integrates the signal and the differentiator that does the differentiation uh, operation to the signal. So each application has a specific circuit configuration. Utilize the input and feedback resistors to achieve the desired functionality by combining multiple op amp circuits, complex analog system systems can be designed to meet a wide range of requirements. So, in summary, operational amplifiers are versatile electronic devices that amplify small differential voltages to produce larger output voltages. They find applications in various fields, including audio amplification, instrumentation, telecommunications, and control systems. Understanding the principle of OPMs opens up a world of possibilities in the realm of analog electronics. So we hope this introduction to operational amplifiers has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to explore further. 
stay tuned for more exciting videos and see you in the next lecture of this course thanks for watching